we have never seen this before as all of us were excited about the development of Grady Dick coming into the season but this man three of the past four nights has set a career high and every single day is looking better so we'll discuss that including Jacoby Walter having his debut and RJ Barrett continuing to look like a star for this Toronto Raptors team so lots of stuff despite the loss despite us being back in Lebronto you know out here maybe for one of the final times facing off against LeBron James this was still a game filled with positives. Had a rough start, but beyond that first quarter, there was a lot of things to get really excited about in this game. So we're going to break it all down. But before we do, folks, again, if you're part of the 67% of our viewers that haven't hit the subscribe button just yet, and you want to stay up to date with everything that's going on with this Toronto Raptors team, make sure you guys hit that sub button because we're delivering once a day, twice a day, sometimes three times a day content on this Toronto Raptors team. But lots of stuff to break down on this one because, again, Facing off against the LA Lakers, who have been one of the best teams in the NBA to start off this season, without Scotty Burns, without IQ, without Bruce Brown, without Kelly Olenek, without all the guys that we have out with injury, right? It's it's going to be tough. It is what it is. And this team is coming out, with the exception of the first quarters in these games, they're coming out with a ton of fight and a lot of stuff to be positive about. And frankly, we got to talk about Grady Dick. We got to talk about what this guy is doing every single night. I said in the intro, every single game against absolutely really really tough competition you know it's not like he is beaten up on the the Detroit Pistons or Washington Wizards or one of these types of teams and the Wizards actually have been kind of good lately but he's not beating up on the bottom feeders right now Grady Dick is coming out head to toe with the LeBron Jameses of the world you know these upper echelon guys out there in the NBA the Anthony Edwards of the world and every single night putting up career highs I mean in tonight's game right we can take a look at the stats for the Toronto Raptors Grady Dick 32 minutes when 30 um 13 to 26 in the th uh, from the field 511 from the three-point line had 31 points three assists and seven rebounds 31 points seven assists or seven rebounds and three assists that's just ridiculous numbers for a guy in his second year that again was projected coming in oh this guy's a shooter right what's he gonna do right we watched Grady Dick last season but the way he's finishing around the basket and there were some tough absolutely tough takes I mean Jackson Hayes how many blocks did this guy have in this one off the bench for the Lakers? It's it's a two blocks. That's a lie. That is not a correct stat. ESPN got that wrong. I saw Jackson Hayes have at least five blocks in this game. Jackson Hayes and Anthony Davis were really tough rim protectors out there in this one. But Grady Dick was going to the basket and just hitting these crazy dribble pull-ups, crazy floaters, you know, weird touch shots around the rim. And again, we've seen so many players, even if they go in at times, you know, their just body is a little bit out of control. Things aren't really working out in terms of, uh, you know, how things are looking. But Grady Dick, even the shots he's missing now at this point, they're so in control. Even when there's two, three defenders around him in the paint, he's so confident just going up with strength, taking contact, and finishing close to the basket. And that is, you know, whatever you want to say about his three-point shot but you know even in a vacuum him as a slasher right now there's not a lot of guys that are able to have that skill at the level that Grady Dick is showing it right now over the past couple of weeks to start off this season so that's huge and then you combine that with his just electrifying three-point shooting percentage and like you know the ability to just get hot in a hurry I mean the percentage isn't crazy because he's shooting a high volume but tonight I mean 5'11 the three-point line Grady Dick he is just becoming that all-around player that Honestly, I don't think any Raptor sense expected him to be this good, especially this early on in his career. So again, every single night, like we haven't seen a guy break, maybe some, like I certainly have not, you know, break his career high, you know, out there in his second year, a guy that's not, you know, his first four games in the NBA career, right? And Grady Dick. Three of the past four games instead of career home points. That's just the development. You know, we're talking getting excited about development. That is just skyrocketing in development right now. We're gonna see Grady Dick putting in 50 pieces by next week, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how things go out there on that front. But it wasn't just Grady tonight. Jacoby Walter had his season debut for this Raptors team, and it was exciting to watch him play. And again, he didn't have the craziest of stat lines in terms of you know coming off the bench of the Raptors. 22 points was one of six from the field, or one of eight. What is that number? Yeah, one of eight. But looked really confident out there in his jump shot it was a plus seven in the game and five points uh six rebounds hustled out there on the defensive end again got blown by a couple times but he was a dog out there getting into people's grills you know moving had the i don't know if he's put on muscle since uh the summer league but it looks like maybe it's the extra shirt you know that uh that that gives an optical illusion but he's put on some strength which is kind of crazy to say for a rookie usually it's the second year like grady dick you know you get put on that muscle but he, he doesn't look as skinny as even he did during his, uh, certainly his college highlights, but definitely over the course of summer league, because again, we watched all those games kind of every single second of those. So 
you know, Jacoby Walter, the shots will go in. And uh, I'm glad he got his first bucket, you know, coming out again uh, against a tough team, but was attacking the rim with confidence, had some ones that go in and out, and just the, the flow, the feel. He just looks like a very comfortable scorer out there for this Raptors squad. So that's a very, very encouraging sign, despite the poor shooting night on his first you know, NBA debut. I mean, it was a plus seven out there in a game where the Raptors lost by a significant margin. So, you know, well, not a crazy margin, but definitely uh, the first quarter was rough. But that's uh, that's kind of how it goes, right? So, uh, you know, Jacoby Walter looked really good. Grady Dick looked really good. And then obviously, is it is it crazy to say our best player since the trade deadline last year? RJ Barrett. This guy has been a monster right now. 33 points, 12 assists in this game, had five rebounds. And was just playing an all-around really, really strong performance. And he was a part of that bloodbath out there in the in the first quarter of this one. You know, in terms of, uh, you know, the Lakers just turning it on, hitting a bunch of shots and stuff. And still ended up with a positive plus minus. So, that's kind of the impact that uh, RJ Barrett had on this one again. Like, it, it, it feels like clockwork. But this is not, you know, just your average stats, right? 33 points on really efficient shooting is not your kind of empty calories, you know, good stats, bad team type of guy. RJ Barrett is doing a lot of the right things, and he was in LeBron James's grill the entire game. And obviously, LeBron, he did his thing out there tonight, 9 of uh, 17. He was hitting his threes, too, which just sucks. You know, he was hitting some tough shots, but which is what it is. You know, he's in he's in LeBron. I got the, I got the LeBron background out here. So uh, nothing you can really do about that. But I thought RJ Barrett just brought the hustle, brought the energy on the defensive end as well. And J Jacoby Walter... Grady Dick, RJ Barrett, that's going to be a very, very nice sort of wing tandem, even while Scotty Barnes is out, right? Like, I, IQ and all these guys are out. Ochai Baji as well didn't have the greatest performance tonight, but uh, that's a that's a nice sort of wing group that we're developing out here on this team, right? Uh, Ochai Baji at eight points, three assists, uh, you know, 0-3 from the three-point line, still hit his shots on the paint and stuff, but an off-night shooting for Ochai Baji. I mean, the guy was shooting, what, like 60% on corner threes coming into this game? You know, the law of averages are just going to sort of even themselves out, so... It is what it is from Ochai Abaji. Davion Mitchell, you know, the stats don't have him as a rough night, but it wasn't the greatest night for Davion Mitchell, to to be frank, just watching the game from the eye test. So had a couple weird plays, weird calls on him as well, which sucked and got him out of his rhythm. But Davion Mitchell was just, you know, wasn't bad, but it wasn't his better nights out there at the point guard position. Uh, and like a lot of guys let go and missed assignments because Davion Mitchell's known calling card is his defense. And you know, on ball defense, he's elite. I've never seen him have a possession off at that point. But sometimes you see Dalton connect, you'd see, uh, you know, D'Angelo Russell. And again, that's also on Darko, the different rotations and things like that. But those guys would be left open for corner shots. And usually it felt like just watch it for the eye test that was supposed to be Davion Mitchell's closeout. But that that is what it is. You know, the, the Raptors are giving up a lot of corner threes and stuff. And we'll talk about kind of adjustments that need to be done at the end of this vid. But, you know, Yaka Pertle tonight. The first quarter, it felt like he was getting bullied by Anthony Davis. So it might come as a shock that Jakob Pertl had 19, 12, and 6 assists in this game. And 3 blocks. Because after the first quarter, man, Jakob Pertl looked really, really good in this one. He has just been, with the exception of the Cleveland Cavaliers game, Jakob Pertl has been a beast all season long. And frankly, he's still a guy that's pretty young, right? Like, he, some people are going to be like, oh, that's a trade chip. You know, you can get some draft picks, you get some for him. I mean, Jakob Pertl. Even though he's like 28, 29, still feels like the set of the future for this Raptor squad. So that's a positive there. Boucher, one of his rougher nights, you know, had a crazy just fadeaway shot over Anthony Davis out there in the mid-range at late clock, but wasn't able to knock down his threes. The Raptors are going on a run, could have used a couple of those Boucher timely threes, but Carton didn't do too much in his uh, five minutes of action out there. Shed, you know, I'm a Shed head, so uh, that's a... Uh, out there tonight against uh, him and uh davion mitchell just didn't have the greatest performances you know oh three uh from the three-point line i like the confidence shed has you know firing up that three those three-point shots because again once he gets his three-point shot that man is going to be a force to be reckoned with out there in the nba but again they were kind of the strategy and credit to jj reddick their 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 scouting report on jamal shed was hey let's see you become a score especially from behind the arc and uh, rather than letting you create because Shed has been a phenomenal facilitator out there for this Raptors team and uh, strategy works. So Shed's going to have to adjust, adapt. And Mobo, uh, you know, had eight points, six rebounds, three assists, had a couple of gorgeous passes in this game. But, you know, five fouls. You just saw guys like uh, LeBron, like AD, when he was switching on to those guys. It was, uh, it's, it's what's going to happen. You know, your, your raw rookies coming in, even though uh, Mobo definitely has a great feel for the game. He played 
we've said this every time we talk about Mopo, right? He plays a little bit too fast for his own good, even though it's not the case of a Precious Achua where it's, oh yeah, this guy's just out of control and doesn't really know what he's doing, still doesn't have a great feel for the game. Mopo has a good feel for the game, which is a huge, huge asset to have on your side, but he's so athletic and the, the you know, defensive maturity, maturity might not be the right word, but you know, the discipline out there on the defensive end to not bite on pump fakes, to not just go at everything like all rookies want to do, right? That's something that comes with development, that comes with experience, that comes with playing against the best players in the world. So, you know, once that matches up with the frame size and instincts that he has, that's going to be huge, huge for this Raptors team. But again, that's why, uh, you know, despite all the injuries, we can take some positives out of the fact that these young players are going to develop and face off against LeBron James. Like, I don't know, if you told me that Jonathan Mobo would be guarding LeBron James for 21 minutes out there in a game, I'd be like, yeah, that's maybe we're fully tanking on purpose. But no, it's like he's putting good minutes out there and he's doing a lot of stuff. So, you know, lots of positives to take away from this Raptors team. You know, it's maybe one of the, the last times we play against LeBron or LeBron. LeBron's in Toronto. We'll see. Apparently wants to play a couple more years. But, you know, as, as much as that man has broke my heart over the years, Shout out to him. We've got Bronny in this game too, which is kind of absurd to see, but it is what it is. Anyways, you guys best think it's far. Subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. Lots of stuff coming. Anyways, I'm signing out. Cheers.